Welcome to a lesson on the properties of perpendicular lines. This is the first of three videos that will prove theorems involving perpendicular lines. This video will address the theorem that states adjacent angles formed by perpendicular lines are congruent. Let's start by defining perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and form right angles or angles that measure 90 degrees. Here we see a red and black line that are perpendicular. Notice that even though all four of these angles that are formed are right angles or measure 90 degrees, it's most common to just mark one of them as 90 degrees. It's common just to mark one of the angles as a right angle because if one of the angles is a right angle, so are the remaining angles. Let's take a look at our theorem. So the theorem we want to prove is that adjacent angles formed by perpendicular lines are congruent. So we're given that line L is perpendicular to line M we want to prove angle one is congruent to angle two. Remember, if angles are congruent, their measures must be equal. And this is a pretty straightforward proof. First, let's go ahead and start by stating the given. We know L is perpendicular to M, because that's given. And by definition, if these two lines are perpendicular, angle one and angle two are right angles. This is by definition of perpendicular lines. And if angle one and angle two are right angles, we know the measure of angle one equals 90 degrees, and the measure of angle two is equal to 90 degrees. And this is by definition of right angles. And since the measure of angle one and the measure of angle two are both equal to 90 degrees, we can conclude that angle one is congruent to angle two, which is what we were trying to prove. This is by definition of congruent angles. So as you can see, this is a pretty straightforward proof. In the next two videos, we'll take a look at proving additional theorems involving perpendicular lines that aren't quite this straightforward. I hope you found this example helpful.